there we go. We're gonna turn it a little bit. Uh, it's gonna be some weird ass looking angle, but whatever. Anyway, so, uh, I mentioned uh, how fast we had to eat during uh, Navy boot camp, and it got me thinking. Um, the longer I go without uh, telling old stories, the more I'm going to forget details of them and parts of them. So, I'm hoping this, this voice level is okay. Um, and actually, I, I probably need to be a little bit quieter because my lung acts up if I talk too loud. But anyway, um, let's take a sip of water before we embark on the story of one of the most miserable experiences of my life. Can't quite say most miserable. Um, but it was close. At the time, it, it probably, it, it was the most miserable, I believe, that I had experienced up to that point in life. So, right now I'm of the mind to really take my time. It might be six parts, ten parts, I don't know. But I, I'm looking to make it just around 10 minutes each or so. Um, and uh, I haven't like frameworked it out, like outlined what I'm gonna say. And um, I might say some things that don't lead anywhere and are just uh, th things that are interesting to me at least. Um, but I'm going to try to make most of it just interesting in general, but some parts um, are kind of just for me to, to remember. But, alright, so I kind of want to start before the Navy. Um, I was in the DEP, or Delayed Entry Program for quite a while, about six months if I remember right, five months. So I got into that delayed entry program, or DEP, um, by um, passing um, passing MEPS. MEPS. Yeah, which is the medical entry processing system. I, I, I made up the what it stands for, but it's it's the medical thing. It's like getting through medical, and they they check everything with the medical, and also everyone lies about everything on, on the medical, including me. Except for oh, I, I did say I have corrective lenses because you can't hide that. But basically, you gotta um, you gotta basically say that you. You've never had anything more than a cold in your life, and you've only had a few of those, and that's the only sickness, injury you've ever had in your life. You gotta say that. Or, if you say like, oh, like, I broke my left wrist when I was about, uh, <coughs> dang, speaking this loud is, uh, irritating my throat slightly. Uh, dang, these slow-ass freaking cars, man. And I get to call them slow ass cars because they passed me recently. Passed me at like one mile per hour faster than me. It was ridiculous. And just like a half a mile per hour faster than me. It just took forever. And now they're going like four miles per hour slower. And I'm like, you dumb. You know, I, uh, cursing, I'm going to let it flow when it flows. But when I have the chance, I'm going to kind of stop. Because cause I... I just noticed I like listen. I like listening to people that don't curse too much, so I'd like to reserve the cursing for when it's really deserved. Anyway, so so um, where was I? I was talking about MEPS, medical. Everyone lies. Oh yeah, if you. Oh yeah, I broke my left wrist. I was saying when I was, when I was about uh, thirteen. I was playing soccer in the in the rain at, at youth group at a Rancho Baptist Church in Temecula, California. 
I, I don't know why I said it like that. I, I, sometimes I, I get too fancy and it, it backfires, and that was one of them. See, uh, the way I said Temecula was fine, but California, it just... Alright. I'm going to cut off the fancy. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I was playing soccer in the rain, and I fell, and then to break my fall, I, I put out, like, slipped because of the wet grass. Uh, we were playing in the freaking rain. That's stupid freaking. They're like, Jesus will protect us from injury. And then I, I like break my wrist and I'm just screaming in pain. <laughs> I remember my mom driving me to the hospital. I'm just like screaming. I was, I was such a sheltered child. I'd never broke, broken a bone before. And I was like, I was just like, hurry. Oh, Chattahoochee. Wow, I just passed Chattahoochee. Maybe I should stop there. Sounds exciting. But anyway, um, Terraya State Park. Uh, so, uh, where can I see the freaking time on this sucker? Oh my gosh, alright. Um, so, you rush to the hospital, blah, blah, blah. Oh, anyway, uh, so I, I had that broken wrist, right? So, I could put that I had that broken wrist when I was 13. Um, on the thing, on the, the military entrance processing stuff, uh, on, on the form, the form that has, like, a list of, like, uh, actually 300, like, literally 300 checklists of, like, everything medically that could be wrong with you, or at least, like, general areas in some, or basically, I mean, it's everything specific, but anyway, that, that was confusing, I'm sorry for that last two sentences, but we're just gonna move past that. So we can make some distance on this first video that's literally more than halfway done. But, um, so, and, I, and I'm gonna, by the way, like, go back in time after I tell this, the, the part of the story that I'm at. Because I'm gonna go before all of this, like, why did I want to join the Navy? And how, what was I, th what was life like waiting for it? Anyway, so, if I wrote down, oh my god, it just, like, got all dark, like, the landscape, that was freaking crazy, alright, so, if I wrote it down, I would then need to go get a, like, a, uh, exception, or, like, a permission slip, there's a better word for it, like, a waiver, that's it, a waiver from the doctor that, like, dealt with my broken wrist, um, which is in a different fucking state at this point, and it's 15 years prior, or how old was I, I guess, because it was like 12 years prior at the time, but still, you know, I think I was 25, 26 when I went in the boot camp, I mean, I can figure it out, but, ah, 25, 26, I think 25, so, I would have to get a waiver saying this uh, broken wrist is, uh, does not have, like, long-term negative effects to him, to Adam, and, um, He's, he, he, he should be fine for military service. And then, then he had to get a waiver. And, like, it's crazy. So, like, I have broken wrists, sure. I have Oshkosh Slaughter's disease in my knees. I, I, I've i sprained my ankle so dang badly. I had to do physical therapy for months just to, like, walk properly again. I have done so many things. I have a torn rotator cuffed. Uh, later, I screwed up the same wrist. Um like, major soft tissue damage, so I can't do push-ups with an open hand. I have to do push-ups with a closed fist because that keeps the wrist, uh, in a way that, uh, it, it's tight, and, uh, anyway. Um, I, there is a long list of shit that's wrong with me, and then ne never, ne also, like, had pneumonia 10, 12 times. How close are we on the video? Oh my gosh, almost at 10. Ah, I barely got anywhere, man, but... Well, like I said, I'm gonna take my time with this, so, uh, I'm, I'm freaking just driving, you know, 10 hours here, so it's like, I might as well just, uh, tell some dang stories, um, and if they suck, like, uh, hopefully some parts of them didn't suck, and I'll get better at telling stories, and I'll learn what doesn't suck as much, you know, because I'll listen back to these at some point, so, Definitely going off topic a lot, but, uh, 15 seconds. Dang, what was I saying about the wrist? Uh, yeah, you can't do that for all, everything. Uh, okay, well, we'll just go to the next video. So, yeah. Sickness.